Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So I just want to do a quick video. Um, it's just about one o'clock on Monday. Uh, yesterday, Sunday was the last day of Blade Show. I flew home uh, Sunday afternoon slash evening. So on my lunch, just want to do a quick video, show you guys what I picked up at the show, do a brief story time. I'm just going to kind of ramble. Um, had a really good time. Before Blade Show, I actually recorded a pre-Blade Show podcast with uh, the Knife Nuts podcast. So I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And then on Instagram, um, I posted as many videos as I could of different things at the show. So if you guys aren't on Instagram or don't follow me on Instagram, uh, just click on the link below. And even if you don't have the app on your phone, uh, you can still look at all of the content just on your internet browser. So, all right, so the first two things I picked up. Um, you know, I, I took basically enough cash to go in and either pick up like a really cool custom piece or a bunch of different production knives. And so, you know, I walked in the show, I walked over to the Riot booth, and um, there are two things that I really, really like on knives, or there are two knives, two knife types that I really like. I'll give you guys, I think, a second. Oh my gosh, I will give you guys a second to think about what those are. Um, so the two things that I really, really like. All right, one, integrals. I love integrals. Two, the other thing, Persians. I freaking love Persians. So if those are the two things you guys guessed. You are absolutely correct. And they had both of them at the Riot booth. And so, I mean, these were the first two things I grabbed in the door at the show. Uh, couldn't help myself. Um, I didn't plan these. I saw bits and pieces of these on Instagram that Riot posted before the show, but... I, I had to do it. So the first one's called the Jack. Um, I don't even know what the specs are on this again. We'll get to that in a later video, but it is a very, very large knife. I've got an XL hand, so I mean, this thing has to be a four inch blade and probably a five inch handle, but it is a beautiful integral knife. Um, crazy smooth. It, it honestly seems like Riot is continuing to get better and better. And I think this knife is just uh, spades all around. So uh, that was the first. And then the second here, uh, this is the Valhalla, designed by Faisal Yamin. And I saw a picture of this when I was like, ooh, that's, that's really, really nice. Um, they only made eight special Valhallas for the show. Um, they only made three with the copper inlay, and then they made um, five with some sort of black inlay. Um, but this copper inlay was the one that obviously caught my attention. And this knife is also exceptional ergonomically, action-wise, design-wise. Um, there was an, another model prior to this one that was very similar. Um, I'll get to that when I do the video on this one. But anyways, really like this piece um, a lot, a lot, a lot. So had to pick that one up. All right. Um, uh, next piece I picked up was over at the Beg booth and finally got to handle uh, the mini glimpse and of course this is a mini glimpse that has been modified at the bag shop in California um, by Mark Sun Tobin so it's got the cracked ice finish and so yeah the bag knives mini glimpse uh, beautiful little piece I have the the full size over my knife box I'll show you guys that when I get to the actual video but um, yeah this thing is is just gorgeous it's a beautiful kind of Gentleman's carry a little bit smaller knife um, Riot killed it on the fit and finish. This is the steel craft version. So this was the third acquisition at the show uh, Pretty awesome um, I did pick up some still flame stuff and things so I got one of these pile of skulls clips for this boss 35 specifically um, I know how some of you guys feel about steel flame. I used to and I don't know uh, definitely a guilty pleasure, so like that. Um, next, went over to the Guardian Tactical booth to check out their new model because um, I knew they were coming out with one, but I didn't even get to see it until the show. Um, so this is the Excipital, and so this is their new model. It's got some of the um, some of the design elements of both the Helix and the Konix. Um, so you can obviously see that in this particular knife. And this one does use a liner lock, uh, stainless steel. Um, obviously, they're not using the sub frame locks anymore. Um, but 
a really nice piece. I really like the size on this one. I think it is quite a, a happy compromise um, between a lot of their models they've had over the years. So still breaking in, but um, obviously quite fond of it. So that's the occipital. And another interesting model. This one was just a complete, you know, spur of the moment purchase, but this is the Ratworks chain drive. I don't actually know if it has a different name. Uh, it's a chain drive automatic knife, and it uses a, I don't know, compression spring instead of a coil spring. Um, the, the cycle lifes are just way, way better. I'm holding down the button. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, anyways, they, they have way more cycle lives than your standard side opening autos that use a coil spring. Uh, but, you know, it just... This was a completely unplanned, unintended booth visit slash purchase. They had uh, some, some good pricing on these at the show, so I got it for a better price than you can get it at dealers, which is sometimes one of the benefits to um, production companies at the shows is they will offer special show pricing for the people who spend, you know, a thousand bucks to get out to the show. So that's always cool. Um, anyways, this is the Tonto Blade variant. Um, just kind of a fun little piece that I really wanted to try out, you know, just a, a curiosity purchase more than anything with the unique uh, chain drive that leads down to a compression spring, so that's fun. And these are also manufactured by uh, Guardian Tactical for Ratworks, so um, yeah. All right, uh, next one. I picked up a Balasong, but it is a trainer. And I know I'm definitely going to get shit for that, but again, I've talked about this in actually quite a few videos, but in high school I had some, some ballast songs, my friend and I did, and we'd play with them and get cut up all the time. And, you know, I've wanted a trainer for a couple of years. I just, you know, it was never in front of me. And so I, I saw one of these and I was just like, yeah, why not? So I picked up a BRS, uh, Blade Runner Systems uh, trainer. I don't even know the model name. There's probably a different model name and I apologize if there is, but... Uh, again, that's how much of an impulse purchase it was. I don't even know the model name. And then um, BRS has a folding knife division. Um, they have some that are, I think, USA made and some that are overseas made. This is one of their overseas models. Um, it's an interesting design. It's a collaboration with, I think, BVK Blade Works. Man, it's, it's, you, you guys can tell I did no preparation for sitting down. This is just a straight, I've got... 15 minutes, let's make it something happen type of video. So um, I actually handled one of these down at Blade HQ. I was down visiting. Um, my buddy Steven was like, hey, check this knife out. I like it. And, um, you know, I, I liked how it felt um, at Blade HQ. And so I was at the show and just kind of grabbed one as well while I was at the BRS booth. So um, an interesting piece. I think the design will definitely call to some and maybe not to some others, but um, I think this one's well made. So um, it's definitely got some things that I like. I don't even know what the steel on this is. Um, again, there was some there was some impulse purchasing going on at the show. So, anyways, that I think that's I think that's everything I picked up. Um, got got some stickers. Got some more stuff. I do plan on doing, or at least we're talking about doing, a post Blade Show podcast with the Knife Nuts podcast. So. If that goes up, then I guess I'll let you guys know. I don't know. I'll, I'll post it on Instagram for sure if you guys are following me there. Um, and I think I think that's it as far as my purchases go. So a lot of really cool pieces, a lot of pieces that I really like. I mean, I'll speak to you, but my money, I buy what I want. Um, what else? Yeah, I think we'll get in. I'll get into any more specifics or things that are more interesting. Um, probably on the podcast when we record that and yes yeah. so anyways aside from the new stuff that I just got I still have other videos that need to get done as well um, so a lot more stuff to do a lot more videos to do um, things will be crazy the next six weeks oh the, those of you guys who came up to me to like say hello in person um, I was actually honestly surprised at how many people came up to me to say hello and introduce themselves uh, this year as opposed to last year. There were a ton of you guys who, who did that and probably me being on the Blade HQ Knife Panther, putting my face out there on a very large channel uh, probably helped with that. But 
Um, thank you so much uh, for coming up to thank me for the content that I produce. Um, you know, I hope that you know that when I thanked you for coming up to me, I hope that it felt sincere because it really was. So, yeah, um, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate your support. Uh, lots of videos to come. Obviously, quite a few here, quite a few elsewhere. I'm going to stop talking. Take care, guys, um, and see you soon.